Hello YouTube, Idaho Gold Prospecting. Today we're going to take a look at Mike's California Motherlode Gold Pay Dirt. Um, I looked up a couple of videos on YouTube here. I think it was Miller's, yeah, Miller Prospecting. Um, did some reviews of his different size ones and he actually did all right on them. So anyway, I've um, Ordered me a couple bags of these, the three-pound bags from Amazon. I've always kind of been leery about ordering pay dirt from Amazon or eBay because they are both businesses and they need to make their money too. But anyway, whatever. I uh, went ahead and ordered th uh, six bags. So it says one in three bags is a pastry bag, so maybe I'll get two pastry bags. I don't know. But after I ordered it, um, I was looking on here and I realized this was ships from and sold by countless books and more. And I thought, why well, is a bookstore... Selling pay dirt, great, but lifetime 99% positive. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed, I guess. Um, anyway, like I said, I ordered uh, six of these guys, and it should only take a couple days to get here, so um, let's wait for them to get in, and then we'll um, see what's inside. So this just came in the mail yesterday. Actually, it was delivered by UPS. Uh, I got here in a couple days. I think it's three days on Amazon, so to get here in. Um, looks like it shipped out on Las Vegas, Nevada. Right there, countless books and more. And this box is beat to hell. As you can see, it's caved down there on the side. It's like a thin tape back up, but it got here in one piece, I guess. So let's bust it open and see what's inside. So here's what's inside. As you see, the box is <laughs> pretty trash. Really taped back up. But no dirt. So, sounds good. All right, here it is. What do we got? We got six of these guys. And it says new. Not sure what that means, but instead of uh, filming all six of these, I think I'll just do one. And then I will do the other five off video, and I will show you what I get. But thankfully, these bags are pretty, pretty hefty. And none of them are spilling, so that's good. Good on you. Good on you, Mike. So, I'll bust one of these guys open and we'll see what we get. This is the uh, pay dirt right here. I apologize for my camera shaking a little bit because I had to attach it to my desk for the time being. Anyway, we'll uh, bust this guy open and pour it into the pan. Here. Like I said, these bags were pretty decent, I think. Like I showed you, that box was all beat up, and now these broke open. Now let's bust it open and see what it looks like. Little tiny rocks in there. So there you have it. Very familiar with California mother load, California dirt at all. Um, a piece of quartz there, but from first glance, this looks like looks like kid sand, play box sand. No brown specks in there. Anyway, well, we'll uh, classify it out and uh, put it on the pan and see what happens. So this is the plus 10. Um, this stuff was dusty as heck. Um, not here in my shop where I'd film all this, but if you took this inside the house, your wife would probably yell at you. Um, there's some sticks and stuff in here, some organic matter, so maybe, uh, maybe it's not playground sand, I don't know. Um, pieces of wood and stuff in here. But I sifted through here and I didn't see any pickers out of there. This is the, uh, oops, this is the plus 10. But it is kind of dirty. It's like the rocks have clay on it. So anyway, we'll wash that off, pan it out, and see what we get. So this is through the number 20. This is actually the um, minus 10 plus 20 right here. And very little amount brown it's all brown but I did see a couple little pickers in there 
So there's gold in here. And there's some of this organic stuff too. So again, hopefully it's not the playground sand. But look over here, I'm left with probably two and a half pounds still. And this is gonna go through the 30 and then the 50. And there's so much of this, I don't think I'm gonna use my little six inch uh, classifiers and thing. I'm gonna go up to the five gallon bucket one. So we'll uh, get that done. I'm not gonna show that part, but we'll um, start panning. So panning tub, a little bit of water. Get dry. So here's a plus 20, minus 10. They said it's all brown. Um, let's pan it out and see what we got. This stuff appears to be very clay soaked, so I'm going to give it a good scrub. A little bit more water. This is going to muddy up the water a little bit. Well, that's what we're left with right there. This stuff is so muddy and dirty and gross. But we got to the gold. So I'll uh, clean that out and move on to the next one. I did pan out the, uh, the uh, plus 10 stuff. I didn't show it as boring and I didn't find anything in there. So this is the first gold we found in the plus 20. So there's the cleaned up gold. So let's see, there's uh, maybe like 25 pieces there. Well, that's all the plus 20. So let's uh, keep going. So what you see here is the plus 30 right there. There's hardly any of it there at all. And then to the bowl on the right there is a minus 30. And there's probably two plus pounds of uh, material left there, which is a majority of the bag. I'd say so that's going to be real fun panning out. Anyway, I uh, panned out the plus 30 and found this one little tiny wire piece right there. It was um, on the bottom end there. I'll move it back up here a little bit so you can see it closer, but it was so thin there on the end of that piece there, the bottom end, that I actually broke it with my, um, with my tweezers. But it's gold is gold and it's better than nothing. Anyway, um, this was a 40 mesh. I had to use my six inch screen because I don't have a five gallon one. And that was a lot of fun. But right here is the uh, minus 40 and the uh, plus 40 right there. And so I went ahead and uh, panned all that out. I actually screened it down to uh, 50 using my five gallon um, 50 mesh. So I had plus and minus 50, so I had four more pans going there. But I didn't, um, I didn't find anything at all, not even some fines. I think there might have been a couple, but very little. Anyway, here's um, everything I found in that one three pound bag. 99.9% .9 of it all came out of the uh, minus 10 and, and plus 20, as you can see, except for that little wire piece there up at the top. And you can see that I broke the tip of it off there if you look up real close. And there's a couple pieces that were completely mercury soaked. But anyway, that's what I got. There's about, I think, 25 pieces or so there total. So let's take it over to the scale and see how we did. So let's take a look at what we ended up with here with uh, Mike's California Motherlode Gold Pay Dirt. Um, like I said, I had a total of six of these three pounders, so 18 pounds of dirt. Um, one in three bags equals a pastry bag, so I was hoping for one or two. Uh, pastry bags were two times out of gold, contain over one gram of gold. I definitely didn't get over one gram of gold on any of the bags. Um, but I had a good time with it. So um, also, you know, looking at the package here, it says flower gold finds pickers and black sands. There was a lot of black sand in the, um, in the plus and minus 50 stuff. And I didn't find a whole lot in, that, in, the, in the smaller sizes there. So what I actually did with a couple of the bags is I, I took the 50 mesh stuff, the plus and minus, and put it on the blue bowl and ran it really, really slow, took time on it. and. Um, I didn't find a whole lot of flour in there, um, a couple pieces, and nothing that was um, going to make any difference on the on the scale, at least not a scale that only goes out to three decimal places like I have, but 
Anyway, um, let's look at that first bag that we uh, did on the video here. Total I came out with was uh, 0 0.442 um, grams in that one. And then I went ahead and did uh, the uh, two other bags, um, not on the video, but this is, this is what I ended up with right here. That was uh, bag two which was 0.457 grams and bag three was oops right here funny thing about these pieces this this here was the um, minus 10 plus 20 and this is where I found 99.9% .9 of the gold and I actually counted every one of these and they averaged between 25 and 28 pieces um, and I didn't find anything except in the the last three bags I found I think one or two pieces in the, in the plus 10 but like I said most everything was in this range here and every single one averaged out to between 25 and 27 or 28 pieces in this minus 10 and, and plus 20 range so anyway um, totals that I came up with here were uh, 1.306 grams for the first three bags that I did all separately and um, at today's gold rate, which today is March 24th, I came up with, well, I had $119.85 is what I paid, at three bags at $39.95, free shipping, and it gave me $41.42 in gold for a 34.56% ROI. What I did with the last three bags is I dumped all three of them into a, um, into a bowl, and I used my five gallon classifiers to uh, classify it all down and just panned it out all at once and just like the first three bags it was 99.9% uh, .9 of it was the uh, minus 30 stuff and so anyway I ended up with um, on the other three bags I think I ended up with a total of 1.371 grams and yeah right there 1.371 grams and this is what the stuff looked like. Uh, I did find a couple plus 10 pieces, but everything in here was minus 10. I think there was a uh, plus 20, I'm sorry. Um, there was uh, about 75 pieces here, plus that one, 76. And I found that little tiny piece right there that was, I think, in the 40 mesh somewhere. Um, but that averaged out to about the same. Um, ROI, I came up with 36.28%. I ended up with that 1.371 grams, which is about 0.07 you know, seven hundredths of a gram more than the first three bags. So combined total, I got 35.42% ROI. Um, and that's well below my threshold of 50%, which I, I like to see to consider it a decent bag. But I had a good time with it nonetheless. So anyway, um, take that for what it's worth. Um, I do put these reviews on here just so you guys can decide on, on uh, what pay dirt that you might want to buy and which ones you might not want to buy. So. Anyway, if you liked the video, click like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.